Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I'm Venkat. This is part 14, Loops in C Sharp. In this session, we will be talking about do while loop. In part 13, we actually spoke about while loop. And in later sessions, we'll talk about for and for each loop. Let's look at an example. In part 13, when we are talking about a while loop, we wrote a simple program where the program will ask the user, user to enter a target number and then the program will continue to print even numbers until that target number using the while loop. If you're not sure of how to use while loop, please check part 13 in this video series. Okay, let's rewrite that program and then we will enhance that using a do while loop. So, console.write line. So let's ask the user to enter his target number. So please enter your target. So once the user enters his target, we need to read that from the console and store it in a variable. So let's read it from the console using console.readLine. And we have to convert that to integer. So we use int.parse method. So, we have the user target number and we need to start counting at zero. So, start equals zero and we will use the while loop. While start is less than or equal to user target. What we need to do, we need to print that even number. So, console.write and between each even number we want a space, so we will give that space, and then we need to increment the start counter by 2 because we want to print even numbers. Now, this program is very much similar, it's actually exactly the same to what we have seen in while loop video session. So, if you're not sure, if you need explanation about this program, please check back that tutorial. Alright, so what will this program do? It will ask the user to enter a target and it prints even numbers until this target. Now, I want to make this program a little more interactive. In the sense, this program will run only once. Now, if I have to print, let's say, even numbers until 20, I have to close this program and run it once again. So every time I want a different set of even numbers, I have to run the program again. So, But I want the user to be in a position to decide when he wants to stop printing even numbers. Okay, he wants to continue, you know, with the program as long as he wants it. Okay, and then when he decides, okay, I don't want to print even numbers anymore, I want to print the program, that's when it should print. That's when it should actually quit. Okay, to do that, we will ask the user, okay, do you want to continue? Do you want to continue and the two options he has are yes or no now the user will say yes or no so we need to read that option from the console so read the user choice from the console and store it in a variable since yes or no is a string we will create a variable of type string string user choice equal to console.readLine so once we have the user choice, so we are expecting from the user only yes or no words. If he types anything else apart from yes or no, it's a garbage. We don't know what to do. So we have to ask him once again to enter a valid you know, choice, yes or no. Okay, so if user choice is not equal to yes, and if user choice not equal to now if the user choice is not yes and if it is not now then we know that it's an invalid input so console.write line invalid choice please say yes or no okay so how long we want to do execute these four statement 
as long as he enters yes or no. If he enters anything apart from those two, then we want to keep this happening. You know, we want to prompt, keep prompting the user. Now your input is invalid. Please enter yes or no. And to do that, we have to use some kind of a loop. So we can make use of actually the do while loop. So we want to do this. We want to do all this until do while how long we should do as long as the user choice is not equal to yes and not equal to no if it's not any of these you know keep prompting the user to enter a valid input but here we have an error it says user choice does not exist in the current context that's because we declared a user choice variable within the do loop so the scope is not available here so we should actually declare that variable right there and initialize that with an empty string and so we have declared it there there is no need to actually oops sorry to actually declare it here so let's delete that so if you look at this one it's a very simple piece of code we are using a do while loop here okay do continue to execute all these statements as long as this condition is true as long as the user has not entered yes and no uh, prompt him okay please enter a valid choice all right okay so now when we actually go ahead and run this program look at what's going to happen so it's asking me please enter your target let's say 10 it prints until 10 and it's asking me do you want to continue let's say i type some garbage here it says invalid choice please say yes or no do you want to continue again i type a garbage so it is now it's now in this loop as long as i type yes or no it doesn't get out of that loop but the moment i type yes let's say the program will terminate now because after this there's nothing it's just closing brace and the program terminates okay but what should ideally happen it should ask me to enter my target once again so even this piece should be in a loop until he decides okay I don't want to run this program anymore okay so let's have another block of do while loop so do all this do all the stuff okay but how long while the user choice it says as long as user says okay yes I want to continue yes I want to continue you know continue doing it so while user choice is equal to yes but again we have a problem here you can see that let's put a semicolon there you can see that there is a red squiggly line the name user choice does not exist in the current context user choice is declared here but we are using outside of the do loop so we need to declare it at the beginning so string user choice instead of using empty strings we can also use a property like so string dot empty okay so that's it so now if we go ahead and run this program okay it's asking me to enter my target let's say I want to print even numbers until 5 so 0 to 4 do you want to continue I type some garbage in it says invalid choice please say yes or no so I say yes so please enter your target this time I want to say let uh, you know I want to print even numbers until 10 it prints even numbers until 10 again it's asking me do you want to continue now I say no please enter any key to continue and the program terminates okay but however there is a small error with this program let's look at that when I run this program it's asking me enter your target let's say 5 do you want to continue now let's say I type in yes all capital letters okay look at what's going to happen it's saying invalid choice you know why that happens that's because of a case mismatch it's asking me do you want to continue and I have typed yes okay so user choice will actually receive that yes because we are reading from the console and then is capital letter yes equal to this one obviously no 
it's not equal to that okay so what's going to happen it becomes true and it is also not equal to no it enters here and says you know invalid choice so in order to overcome that issue what you can do is convert whatever the user has entered into an uppercase and compare so now whatever the case may be upper lower or a mix of both it's still going to work without any issues so if we run it now please enter your target i want to print until 10 do you want to continue small y capital e small s and still oh invalid choice please say yes or no it shouldn't be doing that so let's debug why it's happening okay so we said use a choice console dot read line the two upper can we are reading whatever the user has entered and converting that to upper yes and that's obviously because we are comparing it to small letters here so make that upper and make this upper as well because we converted the user choice to upper but we were comparing it to capital Y and smaller case E and S okay so now the program should work without any issues so 10 do you want to continue yes or no small y capital E small s but still it should work do you want to continue yes or no small y capital s Oh, yeah, and we have to do all that here as well. I just did it in one place, so we need to do it at all places in order for that to work as expected. Right? So let's go ahead and run that. 10. Do you want to continue? Small y, capital E, small s. It should work this time. Please enter your target. So 4. Do you want to continue? both of them small press any key to continue so it works okay so we can very easily create loops like this using a do while loop if you actually remember part 12 you know switch statement continuation we have actually written a small you know copy purchasing program where we have created a loop similar to this but we haven't used do while loops there we used go to statement and by all means go to statement should actually be avoided because when we use go to statements you know the control randomly jumps from one location to another location and if the program is a little complex one it becomes extremely difficult debugging that application that's why it's it's always recommended to avoid go to statement and most of the time we can actually in fact the coffee purchasing program that we have created using go to statement you know we can rewrite that using do while loop if you're not sure what that copy purchasing program is and if you need explanation of that code please check back you know part 12 of this video series okay but however I have that piece of code here for you I will quickly walk you through the program so this copy purchasing program so if you look at this program I'll you know it's it's using labels here if you're not sure what a label is and how to use go to statement as I told you please check back part 12 and then we have a decide label there and look at this we're using go to decide go to specific label and similarly somewhere we say go to start okay so but this go to statement should be avoided by all means so let's run this program so please select your coffee size one for small two for medium three for large let's say I want to buy a large coffee okay I bought one large coffee but do you want to buy another coffee let's say I want to buy another coffee another large one do you want to buy another coffee now so I bought two large coffee and my bill amount is six so this program is in some kind of a loop just like the one we have written you know prior to this okay but I have rewritten this same program using do while loop so now let's copy paste that let's run this ok 
Okay, please select your coffee size. Let's say I want to buy a large coffee. Do you want to buy another coffee? Yes or no? I am typing in garbage. So it says your choice is invalid. Please try again. Do you want to buy another coffee? Yes or no? Let's say yes. And let's enter the large size. So do you want to buy another coffee? No. Look at this, I've got two large coffee and the bill amount is six. The behavior is exactly the same, but instead of using go to statement, this time I'm actually using a do while loop, just like how we have used it in even numbers program. Okay, so many a times you can actually avoid using go to statement. So if at all, if it's possible to do so, you know, always consider replacing go to with other loops. All right, so that's about do while loop. So in the previous session, we actually spoke about the while loop. And if you remember, while loop checks the condition at the first, at the beginning. If the condition is satisfied, then the statements following the while loop are executed. Within the while loop block are executed. And this process is continued as long as the condition evaluates to true. The moment the, the Boolean expression for the while loop becomes false, the, 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 the block is skipped. And then the statement following the while loop is executed. Okay, when we use any of these loops, it's always important to keep in mind to update the variable that participates in the Boolean expression so that the loop can end at some point of time. Whereas in the do while loop, a do loop checks its condition at the end of the loop. Okay, so this means the do loop is guaranteed to execute at least once, and usually do loops are used. To present a menu to the user for example something like do you want to continue yes or no what kind of coffee do you want to buy one for small two for large three for um, two for medium three for large okay so if you want to present the menu to the user and then based on that menu we want to take any decisions then probably we can make use of this do while loop okay so if you look at the differences between while and do while loop while loop checks the condition at the beginning whereas do while loop checks the condition at the end of the loop and because of this difference you know the do loop is guaranteed to execute at least once whereas for while loop there is no such guarantee if the condition becomes false the first time it doesn't even execute once okay so do loop is guaranteed to execute at least once whereas while loop is not so that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.